Taurus the Bull, this is your weekly energy reading for the week of September 22nd to 29th, 2019. I'm your host, Anya Briggs. I'm a psychic medium based out of New York City. Hi, welcome. If you're new here, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe if this is of value to you. And of course, leave a confirmation down below if anything I say makes sense and you want to just say a hail yeah about that. Uh, I love confirmations. This is part of the reason I do this. It's really just sort of for fun. Uh, I am a professional psychic medium. This is not just a hobby for me, but I do enjoy confirmations. I'm not going to lie. I dig it. Not for any other reason other than it's fun. Um, and I hope you enjoy this reading. Um, <laughs> I don't know how happy this reading is. It's kind of... Um, Taurus the Hermit. I think this is an extension of what I was talking about before. Uh, maybe a month ago, there was something about Taurus coming out of the darkness of their home and just blinking in the sunlight because they've been indoors so long. They were writing their dissertation or something, their biography, their story of their life. And literally in some cases, and um, they literally had not seen sunlight in so long that their eyes were the cones and rods were reacting and overreacting in their eyes. And, well, Taurus, you're nothing if not consistent. I'll grant you that. Because the theme this week is always at home, meaning the at symbol. Uh, and um, unfortunately, what I was picking up was internet addiction or overuse or overreliance on the internet. And Taurus the bull is nothing if not a homebody who loves creature comforts above all else. They are the sensual, languishing, hedonistic, indulgence, indulging people, and they're fun to eat food with and put ointments, beautifully scented oils on and make love for days on end and just you know, Netflix and chill. They give the term Netflix and chill a whole new meaning, <laughs> okay? In many ways, Taurus, the earth sign, is very much like a cancer home person who would be, you know, in their perpetual sweatpants, for better or for worse, you know, watching hours and hours and hours of some television show because that's their happy place. They're right at home, literally and figuratively. And um, Taurus, however, is more of a workhorse in that regard. Not that cancer doesn't give their all in the workplace, but Taurus is a consistent worker and it, unfortunately I'm getting for some of you if you work from home you've become you've succumbed rather to the internet bug and you can't shut it off and curse me if I'm partially responsible for that maybe I'm just sort of the um the entertainment interlude in between more serious stuff but I'm getting that um there may be, for one or more of you, a porn addiction, unfortunately, or an inability to relationship or do adulting sufficiently anymore, if at all. Um, there may be, and, and this may be because of the internet, it may be because of the communication breakdowns and social anxiety brought from not being able to effectively communicate one-on-one -on -one with people, perhaps. Um, might I suggest Toastmasters? old-fashioned as that might sound, uh, Toastmasters is, uh, this is not a sponsorship, I'm not involved with them, but if you have a problem with public speaking or communicating with people in general, Toastmasters um, has for decades, I think for more than 100 years, um, been an internationally recognized and renowned organization that helps people with public speaking and with communication issues. And uh, it's a wonderful organization that has helped a lot of people who feel like they're shut-ins or who feel shut off from the world and it helps them sort of come out of that. And really, Taurus 2019 has been nothing but going within, literally being inside and or avoiding nature at all costs for some reason. And I feel like Taurus is finally on, no, they're not on the verge. They are shedding their skin, whether metaphorically or actually sloughing off skin cells. I don't know. I'm being shown one or more of you might be working in a spa and or a gym type setting. And there's like a loofah that someone's using and in the shower to literally remove skin. Um, 
or to refresh the skin rather, if not to remove skin cells, which I know that happens when you use a, a loofah or a brush, but um, it is something for health. It's for the lymph nodes. Um, it serves a good health medical purpose, if that makes any sense. Um, and Taurus, you really need a spa treatment. You really need to get in touch with people. At the very least, maybe you should get a massage from someone. I mean, a legal massage, okay? I'm not going to advocate illegal activities here, but a legitimate massage therapist. Um, if only to have contact with another human. Like, I feel like physical touch has been removed. Um, that you have no joy right now for whatever reason, Taurus. And it feels like you're under the gun, like you're under the eight ball or behind the eight ball rather. And um, earth signs um, are really working hard right now as they always do, but Taurus is really under the gun. I'm feeling like they don't stress like other signs. They keep that proportional, but they just work and work and work and work. And it's, you know, it runs the risk of that little adage from the film, well, I don't know if it was in the book version as well, but the film version definitely of The Shining, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And we all know who Jack was in that movie. You don't want to become an axe murderer by the time the snow season starts. If you keep this up, you might feel like Jack Nicholson in that movie a little bit, okay? And I don't want you like breaking down any doors with an axe screaming, here's Johnny, because that might happen if you don't have any play in that equation. So um, at the very least, human contact through a healthy, safe self-care program. Uh, they're saying motivation is uh, one of the key issues or words here for this week and this month or the remainder of this month, however long it is. Right, 30 days, sorry, 30 days have September. Um, Taurus, um, so you need to figure out play. And I'm getting if you're in some kind of group that does squash or um, group football league or rugby, you would do well. I'm feeling like some of you on a rugby team or um, who, maybe in college we're doing something like that need a pickup game they need some kind of um physical activity to get the let out uh taurus is really good at group sports like that especially with things like rugby they're not afraid to get hurt um and they're sturdy and they heal fat they're just really solid individuals usually in terms of um they have incredible capabilities for healing because they just don't give up and their bodies just don't give up but what can happen is the mind can have a freak out with Taurus and um, it almost feels like the conditions for a nervous breakdown so if you aren't careful and I'm speaking collectively this is a general reading it will not apply to everyone but I am feeling like the energy concentration around Taurus energy will affect mostly for this reading um, Taurus moon sun rising in that order um, definitely how other people see you might be an issue. Um, perception is key. So if you're having a problem in the perception department, you might, might want to actively, even if you have to grit your teeth, forcibly get involved with, uh, not forcibly, but just like force yourself to get involved with group activities. If it has to be a meetup, if it has to do like those group sports, even if it's office group sports, and I know you detest that some of you, but just try just for me, do it for the team, right? Um, your week will go so much more smoothly if you network right now, instead of just solitary me being the hermit card um, by myself in my little airy, you know, hiding away, being Bartleby the Scrivener, writing and writing and writing. Um, Oh wait, Bartleby didn't write. Is that what it was? I prefer not to, right? That was Bartleby the Scrivener. But Scrivener means writer. So if you prefer not to, then prefer not to and go do something else, preferably rugby. I'm getting rugby, rugby, rugby for those of you who this will apply. Obviously this will not apply to everyone. If you are infirm or for whatever health reason, uh, 
you can't, please do not play rugby, okay? I'm not, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not responsible for anything that happens as a result of this reading, just as a disclaimer. But um, moving forward, like go to a comedy show I'm getting. Like some of you need a good laugh. Just get the yayas out. Go to a comedy theater, performance art, concert of some kind. Jump up and down, make yourself an idiot. Who cares? No one's watching. It's a darkened theater, you know? Um, have fun, see a rock band, whatever. Go see Skrillex at the disco party. I don't know what the kids listen to nowadays. EDM, I don't know. Only thing I would advise against is don't do drugs, especially if you're thinking of doing MDMA or Molly or whatever it's called this week. Um, don't do that. Uh, I'm getting that you might get overheated and you might wind up in the ICU. We don't want that. Um, that's just food for thought. Stay away from class one substances and otherwise drugs that could land you in the hospital. We don't want that. Um, try to keep it wholesome. Try to keep it group sport centric or group activity centric. But really I'm getting like physical activity is highlighted. At the very least, take yourself and a friend on a hike in the local park. That would be great. Go hiking. Uh, it's almost sweater weather. It's going to be beautiful depending on where you're located. It's, you know, in the Northern hemisphere, it's fall right now. My favorite. I love spring. I love fall. Uh, just enjoy the weather. Like get outside. Remember that you are a member of human humanity and, and your human nature is to connect with nature. That's part of the deal, right? So, uh, you get obscure in darkness, but in the sunlight, you're the spotlight, is what my guides are saying. So you should take that into account. Take that seriously. Get some vitamin D. Get outside. Get some um, air. And get away from the internet, too. Try to do an internet detox once or twice a week, at least. Um, if you can't do it for 24 hours, try to do it at least once a month for 24 hours, okay? I'm sure you're not working literally every single day. And just as an aside to end the reading, um, they've done study after study after study where they're saying multitasking does not work. It doesn't. And that the optimal amount of time that someone should work on a job is 40 to 50 hours a week. I mean, they've worked this out to a science, ladies and gentlemen. And anything beyond 50 hours a week is really... Um, losing your return on your investment. It becomes diminishing returns, just as an FYI. I understand there are certain situations where you can't avoid that. There are certain industries where that's not reasonable and you have to work night shoots if it, you're in film, for instance, or whatever, and work 16 hour days, whatever the case may be. But for the vast majority of you, that's not the case. And don't try to be like the Japanese and just show up and be a, a salary man and just falling asleep at your desk and being there for 16 hours a day. like. They've just done so many studies and they realize it just doesn't work. It's diminishing returns and it can backfire too from fatigue and stress. So try to do the group stuff where you can. I understand Taurus can be a solitary figure at times, but they're also sensual and, and, and pleasure oriented creatures on the upside. I mean, they can't, that can amount to uh, overindulgence uh, with Taurus, but for the most part this week, uh, bodes well for group activities. So, you know, try to do a group on, try to do a thing, organize a party, do something that just connects you to community. That would be really important for you. And if I sound like a broken record, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to head off at the past the cycle that also is kind of a bit like a broken record, wouldn't you say? So time to get off that carousel, get out in nature, go on a walk at the very least, try to do that 45 minutes a day if you can. It's real important and it's good for your sanity. I'm trying to keep you out of a psych ward as well if you have <laughs> mental instability from this grinding schedule. And otherwise, I will see you soon. I hope you have a wonderful week and be good to yourself, be kind, self-care isn't selfish, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.